So if you're thinking of moving to Long Beach or you already live in Long Beach and you're looking to move, but you're maybe thinking also to build an ADU or looking for a house with an ADU. Well, stay tuned because this video is all about ADU. So what's up everybody? My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and the surrounding cities. So if this is your first time seeing me here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future notifications if you want to learn more about Long Beach and the surrounding cities about where you eat, live, drink, and sleep, eat, and play. Now I've been getting a lot of phone calls and texts about these videos and about special things and they wanted to know about ADU, so that's why I put together this video here. It's all about ADUs, what they are. So if you want to get a hold of me, all my information is down below. You can email me, go to my website, call me, do everything. Again, all my information is down below. Now, 2017, Congress passed seven bills stating that any home in California can build a second rentable unit. Oh, oh I like that very much. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It used to be going by the old zoning, R1 and R2 and all that kind of stuff, but that is pretty cool. Now, here's a really cool fact from MaximalSpace.com. A $100,000 conversion over a 30-year period would be worth about $1.5 million. Okay, we're not just talking about slapping up some drywall, throwing in some appliances, slapping in a mattress and putting some carpet on the floor and saying, boom, you got a room. No, we're talking here, they go through and totally redo, like say you wanted to convert your garage to an ADU. They gut it down, they strip it, so it, it comes out nicer than your home, basically. They're sleek, they're modern, energy efficient, just badass, and they to fit to your needs and conform to your property. Other than the monetary value here, the number one reason people are building ADUs is to take care of aging family members. Okay, so first off, what is an ADU? An ADU is an additional dwelling unit, formerly known as granny flats, uh, mother-in-law quarters, in-law suites, a guest house, stuff like, you know, to that nature, whatever, depending on what part of the country you live in, what you called it. Now they're called ADUs, additional dwelling unit. Now I'm gonna sum up stuff here and I'm not gonna get into all that political talk. Yes, yes, yes. Your HOA, that's your homeowners association, cannot deny it. Yeah, they might put their own regulations on it, such as it has to be owner occupied and no short term rentals. Thanks, Airbnb, but they cannot deny it. Prohibits the owner occupied for five years. Impact fees an ADU less than 750 square foot. There are no impact fees. But if it's over 750 square foot, it just goes proportionate to the original home. Now, this one is really, really cool your amnesty program. Because let's face it, there's a lot of illegal ADUs out there, if you even want to call them an ADU. Okay, this amnesty program allows up to five years to bring those illegal ADUs up to code. In your local jurisdiction, they can't do anything about it unless it's a health and safety issue. Parking requirements, there are none. If you live within a half a mile of public transport, but a bus stop, train station, whatever. You don't need to even supply parking for it. 
60 day over the counter approvals compared to the old 120 days that it used to be literally cut it in half of the waiting time right there since everybody was trying to take advantage of a good situation the california housing and development had to get involved and they set the, these guidelines so on this last guideline though your local authorities they can't touch you And you do two ADUs on the same property? There are stipulations, but yes, you can. Convert your garage to an ADU. There's one. You say you have a big bedroom towards the back of the house or even towards the front, whichever. It just has to have its own entrance and its own kitchenette. And that's called a Jadu, a junior ADU. Sounds like a Star Wars character. So you could technically have your garage converted to an ADU, get your full rent there, have another bedroom rented inside of your home with a kitchenette and as a junior ADU and rent there too. Now that is a really, really good aggressive way for some passive income. So these bills were passed to combat the housing shortage. But as you can tell from the monetary value also, it is good if you're a first time buyer and you want to help with that mortgage or even if you've owned a house for a long time, but you just want a lower mortgage payment, you can almost cut your mortgage payment in half, therefore living the lifestyle that you wanted and not being house poor. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell for future notifications. And until next time, you take care. That's all, folks.